Hello everyone and welcome to our new section which is called AVL3. With this lecture we begin a brand new section in which you will learn everything about AVL trees. In this section you will get a deep knowledge about AVL trees which includes why we need AVL trees, creation of AVL trees, common operations on AVL trees, balancing and rotation of AVL trees. So in the first lecture let's see what is an AVL tree? So let's get started. So by definition, an AVL tree is a self-balancing binary search tree where the difference between heights of left and right subtrees cannot be more than one for all nodes. So from this definition, you can easily see that an AVL tree is also a type of binary search tree. And this means that all properties of a binary tree are applicable for AVL trees also. This means that the left child will be smaller than the root node and the right child will be bigger than the root node and this recursively applies all the nodes so you can easily see from this AVL tree that left children are always less than the root node and the right children are always bigger than the root node but in the case of an AVL tree there is an additional property for binary search tree which is a binary search tree must be balanced so we know that a binary search tree can be disbalanced and balanced so in the case of AVL trees, it cannot be disbalanced. So the AVL tree makes sure that binary search tree is balanced. So how can an AVL tree keep a binary search tree balanced? So the mechanism is very simple. It uses height balancing. Now let's look at this example to understand it properly. Now here, if we take the root node, we will see that the left subtree's height is 3 and the right subtree's height is 2. And the difference between these height of two subtrees is 1. So this means that this node over here is balanced. Now we will continue to the next node. So in the next node we have 90 over here. One more time we are calculating the height of left subtree which is 1 and the height of right subtree which is 1. And the difference between them is 0. So this means that this node also over here is balanced. Now we will continue to the this node over here. So in this case the left subtree's height is 2 and the right subtree's height is 0 and the difference between them is 2. This means that this node over here is not balanced. So the question is, is there any way that we can make this node to confirm with the property of AVL3? Which means that, is there any way that we can make it balanced? So the answer is yes. We can do that by rebalancing the tree. So if any time heights of left and right subtree's different by more than 1, then rebalancing is done to restore AVL property. This process is called rotation. So we will learn how can we do rotation and detailed information about rotation in upcoming lectures. For now, you just need to know that whenever any node fails to follow the property of AVL3, the rotation is needed for rebalancing. Now hopefully everything is clear about what's an AVL3. And now let's see some example of binary search trees and try to identify if they are an AVL tree or not. So the first example is this. So here we need to identify that if this binary search tree is an AVL tree or not. So in this case we will start from the root node, then we will calculate the height of left subtree and the height of right subtree. So in this case both heights are 2, so the difference between them is 0. This means that the root node is balanced. So it confirms with the property of AVL tree. Now we will continue to the next node over here. So here also we will calculate the height of left subtree and right subtree. We see that both of them are 1, so the difference is 0. So this means that this node also is balanced. So then we are continuing to the next node. So in the next node, one more time the left and right subtree's height is 1 and difference between them is 1. And this means that this is an AVL tree. This is balanced binary search tree. Now let's continue to the next example. So here again, we have a binary search tree like this. So one more time, we will start from the root node. So in the root node, we are calculating the left subtree's height and right subtree's height. So in this case, left subtree's height is 3 and the right subtree's height is 2. And difference between them is 1 and this means that this node is balanced. Then we'll continue to the next node. Now in the next node, the left subtree is 2 and the right subtree is 1. So the difference between height of these subtrees is 1. So this means that this is also a balanced node. Then we will continue to this node over here. So in this case, both left and right subtrees height is 1. So difference between them is 0. And this means that 
this node also is balanced. Then we are continuing to do this node over here. In this case, the left subtrace height is 1 and the right subtrace height is 0. And difference between them is 1. Now here you need to take into account that we are not calculating height for lift nodes because in case of lift node we know that the height of them is 0. So, so after calculating the nodes in which we have children or a child, then we can identify that if this is an AVL tree or not. So in this case we see that all nodes over here are balanced. So this means that this is an AVL tree. Now let's continue to the next example. So in the next example, we have a binary search tree like this. So in this case, when we calculate the left and right subtrees height, we can easily see that left subtrees height is 4 and the right subtrees height is 2. And the difference between them is 2 and this means that this is not balanced. So in this case, this is not an AVL tree. But by doing a rotation, we can make this binary search tree an AVL tree. So hopefully with this ray example, you understand what's an AVL tree and everything clear about what's an AVL tree in this case. Now in the next lecture, let's see why we need an AVL tree. So see you in the next lecture.